This is Marky Mark. Some of you may have never seen him before, even though his billboards and TV commercials have saturated the country. But for 22-year-old Mark Robert Wahlberg, his meteoric rise to stardom is nothing short of incredible. At 15, he dropped out of high school. At 17, he was arrested for assault, spent six weeks in jail. At 19, he hit rock bottom, no direction, no future. And here's how a dead-end kid from Dorchester, Massachusetts, beat the rap to become a superstar. I'm asking myself, how did I do that? And I'm like, damn. Five years ago, the only picture you'd see of a 17-year-old Marky Mark was a mugshot. Mark Wahlberg grew up as the youngest of nine children in Dorchester, a working-class neighborhood of Boston. From the very beginning, he seemed destined for anything but success. Here in these never-before-seen photos, we see him as a young man. He quit high school and at age 15 abused alcohol and drugs and had numerous run-ins with the law. His parents went through a painful divorce, which only added to Mark's aimlessness. But Mark stayed close to his older brother, Donnie, with whom he shared an interest in rap music. Me and Marky used to listen to rap years ago. Rap was always there. You know, we used to write rap songs together just for fun when we were little kids. The two of them helped form a new band, but Marky's lack of discipline led him to quit shortly after. Donnie remained, and the new band, New Kids on the Block, went on to become a worldwide music phenomenon. While his brother was earning millions, Marky went to jail for assault and battery. All my friends had been in and out of jail, and I had been locked up a bunch of times. And um, I just, you know, it was a big turning point. But I think once he got home, he realized he never wanted to go back there, never. And um, just started having a more positive outlook on things couldn't change, you know, all at once, but realizing, you know, that I had a lot of problems and I had a lot of things in my life that I had to change, you know, I said, cool, well, let me take one thing at a time. How did Marky change? He went from behind bars to pumping bars. He literally lifted his self-esteem. The gym was and, 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 and still really is a, a, a place where I can, you know, go and, and relax and find myself and, 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 and show myself that if I work hard at something, I'm gonna get something out of it. 18 months of pumping iron gave Marky a new body. But that wasn't all. Marky turned his newfound discipline to the music career he once rejected. How did he do that? Thank new kids on the block manager, Dick Scott, and older brother, Donnie. Dick was the one who initially said, boy, that little brother of yours, he could be a superstar. The muscles and it, he would be huge. And I was like, you're right. You're right. There are some some artists who are locked into one one career and that's it. That's all they can do. But Marky just has uh, an abundance of natural charisma that everyone recognizes. <laughs> yeah. Donnie wrote music for his buff baby brother, and Dick Scott had Marky open for the new kids. <laughs> The music took off with Donnie as producer. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch released their first album, Music for the People. It sold well over a million copies. Marky Mark had the body, the music, and the attitude. But the young rapper needed something to set himself apart from the crowd. How'd he do that? By dropping his drawers. I just pulled him down, and I just saw like 50 million camera flashes. I was like, damn, and everybody was cracking up. So I just started running around the stage, and my brother was like on the ground laughing. And then from there, it just became a trend. But how did Marky's outrageous stage stunt lead to a starring role in a multi-million dollar ad campaign? His signature look caught on, showing up first on the streets before finding its way to Madison Avenue. The fashion forerunners at Calvin Klein were watching. We decided that we wanted to you know, uh, really ride that trend. And we were looking for a way to do that. In one of those deals that only happens in Hollywood, mega record producer David Geffen saw Marky Mark brandishing his Calvins on a Rolling Stone cover. 
He called good friend Calvin Klein, who saw the potential of the Marky Mark look. The next step when you do something like this is, all right, now we know who's going to be in it, now what are we going to do with them? And we also decided to do something we'd never done before, which is produce an underwear commercial. But how did they make sure that this commercial would attract attention? What we decided to do was to do very head-on, very sort of rap-inspired, as Mark is, ads. Shouts goes out to my man Calvin Klein, good looking out for the drawers. And we wanted them to be approachable. <laughs> we wanted Mark to seem both friendly and charming. Oh, she got freckles. As well as tough. <laughs> because Mark is all those things. Next question. But how did they bring out Marky's character in the commercial? We have downtown Julie Brown interviewing him, talking about things and trying to catch these moments, you know. We have general topics to talk about, but again, the fun of it is not having a script. Calvin Klein is definitely in the house. He knows that. They had the commercial, but that was only part of the Calvin Klein strategy. Marky is kind of a street kid. And the idea behind the campaign was rather than do the very traditional media of planning that had been done in the past is we decided to take Mark to the streets. I like it. It's real classy. Makes me want to wear one of those. I would love to have a boyfriend that looks like Marky Mark. I wear Calvin Klein, so I think I'm as cool as Marky Mark. <laughs> Since the ads began running, sales of Calvin Klein briefs have increased 40%. And now, Marky Mark is known almost as much for those ads as for his music. Women love him, guys love him, and gay guys love him. The world loves him, and that's, I think that's great. But how does Marky Mark feel about being an underwear model? This is good because it's introducing me to people who normally wouldn't listen to a Marky Mark record. And you better believe that when they're up there looking at me in my drawers, I'm gonna say, hey, hey. Got a record. It's saying a lot. You know, listen to it. Come on, come on, come on. So that's Marky Mark. So that's a lot of Marky Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Mark that. <laughs>